the Mace Thomas Classic at Butler Motor Speedway, it's showtime! Reinhardt goes right down to the inside. He'll try to slide up in front of Zeb. He'll work him up the racetrack. Kyle Reinhardt leads him down the back stretch. There goes the 7BC of Tyler Courtney into the third spot. Lap one will go to Kyle Reinhardt. Zeb Wise in second with Tyler Courtney in third. Fourth is Scotty Thiel. And in fifth with the third finish line is Adam Peckett. Keeping an eye on the Honor Points Championship between the 26 and the 7BC. Tyler Courtney buries the NOS Energy during 7BC into the bottom of Tournament 3 and trying to make a move on Zeb Wise. Thick black traffic coming for the Neptune City, New Jersey Theater. He hits it right and shoots up the racetrack. Oh, Kyle Reinhardt, hang on. Here comes Zeb, a battle for the lead into Turn 1. Reinhardt went bouncing in Turn number 4, and that erased a monster lead for the Brian Grove on 45. Scotty Thiel all over Tyler Courtney for third now. One sixth of the race gone. Kyle Reinhardt leads the first five with Zeb and Hop Pursuit. Side to side for the lead there momentarily. Can Zeb make a move? Can Reinhardt dispose of him? Battle for third, picking up as well. Off a of turn number four, Zeb Wise leads lap six. Wise made the move, but thick lap traffic waiting. Is Here comes Tyler Courtney out the bottom. Courtney looks to throw his hat into the ring. Tyler Courtney makes the three car battle for the lead and turns three and four. Sunshine working the bottom, and he's really got to work it. The NOS Synergy Drink 7BC comes to life on the bottom of the racetrack. Courtney able to keep that thing glued to the bottom of the racetrack and not wash up, and that keeps him in the thick of things here at the Mace Thomas Classic. Eight the books this time by for Zeb Wise and 22 to go, and he's entered thick, flat traffic. Boy, lap traffic gets real thick just in front of him. Oh, Reinhardt off the pace at the top of turn number two. And we are back underway. It is second down to the bottom as Jacob Hickel tries to come to life and close back in on him. Kale Thomas went bouncing off the high side of the racetrack. He'll lose a pair of spots down the back stretch. Zeb's going to have to find speed and fire. Oh boy, Zeb Wise. Problems for Wise and he spins around. Yellow will fly. Oh my. Tyler Courtney, Sunshine, gonna bring us back to power and back to life, we're back underway. Perry Matson down to the inside, Courtney powers away off the high side. Tyler Courtney leads him down the back stretch. Tyler Courtney looks to lead lap number 16 as we cross the halfway point. Good battle for second right behind him. That's exactly what Tyler would want to see. He wants to see J.J. Hickel challenge Kerry Madsen. Madsen waves his finger, says, not so fast, my friend. Now Chris Windham into the fifth spot. Ten laps to go. Kerry Madsen trying to get back to victory lane. He does those all-stars with Tony and Jen Vermeer. Sunshine changes lines. That's maybe something we need to keep an eye on with nine to go. Is Courtney went down to the bottom at three and four. Kind of taking Madsen's line away. Gary Sins hasn't been able to close much on the Boston Marshall Racing 7BC. This time by the white flag flies. One lap to go for Tyler Courtney. Trying to chase down career all-star win number 24 in the final two left-hand turns. Off the of turn number four, Tyler Courtney and Glossy Marshall Racing win the Mace Thomas Classic. Sunshine is eighth win of the year.